It's a 70s on 7 kind of day. So happy Tuesday, it's the 5th of July. Um, kind of a chore day today, little stuff. I got the drive shaft put away downstairs. I texted the guy who bought the engine and was, and was supposed to pick it up one week ago. If he wanted the flywheel, I'll just, I don't want it. I don't really want to throw it away. I will if he doesn't want it, probably. I listed the parts for sale on the M5 owners group. Nobody expressed any interest in anything, even for free. Uh, so I'll probably junk that Jubo and, um, I had a guy super interested in the water pump and then he just stopped emailing. So I sent him a follow up today. It's been, you know, since Timmy Fest, it's been a month, but I'll even send it to him if he wants to pay for shipping and 10 bucks for my packaging time and materials. Uh, but I got a mail a letter out today. That was a snafu. So apparently it's 40, it used to be 49 cents. Then April 2016, a stamp went from 49 cents to 47 cents. Well, here's all the stamps we had in my house. Two 21s and three twos. Add that up and it's 48. So I have five stamps on this letter. It looks absolutely ridiculous. I'll show you before I send it out. Um, but I guess it works. I never paid by a penny, but we bought those things 10 years ago, so whatever. We'll get rid of that. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna head down to my body shop in Kent and talk to Bob about um, fixing the rust on this thing to some extent. So I don't really know. I'm kind of scared about what he's going to tell me, but we're going to go find that out today too. It's totally overcast in 73, so it's not much of a pool day. There isn't really any mowing to do, so it's a good day for this kind of stuff. They've also painted the lines on the new road here. Very nice. And uh, I'm going to stop into Lyric Motorsport. Uh, he just, Tom just gave me the uh, expansion tank and the hose and two gallons of half and half antifreeze and said, you know, use what you need, bring back what you don't, if anything, and we'll settle then. So I'm gonna go pay for that. Um, and then he let me. Know, he texted me this morning and said that Bill, the guy who built the engine and has, has uh, exclusively worked on my car, is on break um, this week. So next week he comes back. I do want Bill to do the oil change and diagnose any sort of a fluid leak. Uh, so we rescheduled the oil change and coolant flush and leak diagnosis for next Tuesday the 12th. So that's no big deal. Um, actually kind of glad about it. I don't have to get up early tomorrow. At least as early. I spy an M3 or an M4 behind that guy and behind that Nissan, Hyundai. It looks like frozen white with some black rims. Maybe that guy will turn and we'll get a better look. I see the hood bulge and the fender thing. It's an M3. It's an M4. It's an M4. There's the stamps on this letter. How ridiculous does that look? Now well, we're getting supper at um, Jimmy John's and we found a Silverstone. It's got the camera back. M4, yeah, it's got the side and top view cameras. Uh, it's got the nice wheels, Silverstone, DCT. I like that they changed. Carbon fiber roof. On the M4, between the, the M3 and the M4. I like that oh, they got, yeah. they got the, the three is now a four door only. So Alex and I had Jimmy John's for dinner, came back here, Rosma and Sabrina came over. We spent some time together. Um, I wanted to tell you, I went to uh, the body shop in Kent today. He's not there. I called and left a message. The sign on the door, I don't know if I told you this or not. The sign on the door said he was open, but nobody was home. Um, so I went to the other place that painted Bobby's bumper, I don't know, a year or two ago now, and uh, talked to them. And he came out and walked around the car and informed me of a couple things and then wrote me a quote. Um, he thinks that the hood is not repairable due to the fact that it's right on the outside edge by the headlight and once they start grinding that down there's there's no more edge of the headlight so they would he said it's unrepairable so he quoted the figure i'm about to tell you includes a new aftermarket hood painted and installed and the figure is a lovely three thousand three hundred dollars so very much the value of the car in repairing the rust so that's not going to happen. That's uh, approaching 10 times my budget. So I'm going to have to talk to Bob and see what, he's th we'll see what he thinks. And maybe he's a mastermind and can come up with uh, additional ways to do that. And if not, then it's just going to be sold as is, uh, which is going to suck. It's still a perfectly reliable daily car, um, perfectly driving safe car. Uh, but it, uh, it's not going to look pretty anymore. So we'll see. Um, He's probably on vacation or something here in July. So I'll stop in another week or two and see what he thinks. But I came back from that. I cleaned up the garage. I did a bunch of little stuff. I was able to sell the water pump. The guy paid me. 
Um, it's going to Colorado Springs tomorrow. It's all boxed up. What else? Uh, Z6 the M5. I hadn't done that in, uh, but actually, it's been like three weeks, but I was gone for 12 days. So it's nice and pretty and shiny now. Uh, though it always looks like that on camera. You don't see dirt on camera. Actually, it wasn't too bad, but that's done. And uh, pending jobs with that this summer, aside from the oil change, coolant flush, and sleek diagnosis. Um, really, I'm thinking just like tint and the driver's seat side bolster repair, the leather and the driver's door armrest leather repair. I don't know if they'll just work with the leather that's there, or put new panels in, either way, we'll fix it. But the tint, I have no idea what kind of tint this is. It's been there at least since 2008 or so when I first saw this car, 2007. Um, I would like something that A is not scratched, it has vertical scratches on the driver's door right here. Something got caught in there and then scratched as the window went up and down, that's obnoxious. Maybe something a little bit darker, but my primary reason is UV protection from sunlight in California. It'll be outside, I don't want the leather to get even more dried out, I don't want the uh, rear deck to fade to gray. Uh, so I'll just get something high end to uh, protect from UV light. Uh, in addition to maybe giving it a, a little darker look. If it's, oh, I'm just making up numbers. If it's a 50% tint, allowing 50% of the light through, I might go to a 40. If it's a 70, maybe a 50. I don't want limo tint. I don't want it to be dark. We're going to stay legal all around the car. Uh, that's the plan. So I am going to drink myself some chocolate milk, and then I'm going to go to bed, and then I'm going to do some emails before I go to bed. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, I think I'm having lunch with Joe. And uh, if it's sunny, then I'll try to get to the pool in the afternoon. That would be nice. So uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.